But first up tonight, we get B.J. Moore and Alec Kleppinger. Moore, who was in the finals last season in this event, fell just short to the reigning PBA Tour Player of the Year, E.J. Tackett. Moore and Kleppinger get us started. side part of the lane that's how you play cheetah we'll get into more of that when we visit our oil pattern so here is alec Kle keplinger say that three times real fast go ahead <laughs> alec keplinger there you go alec keplinger you alec go. keplinger i just meant the last name good job the 23 year old start the evening and Alec going with your thing to start as well Alec Keplinger he comes from a family of bowling and he's also a Wichita State product yeah you don't get on that squad uh, unless you have some game trust me and he's got plenty of it Alec helped to lead the number one seed Shockers to the title in 2022 over Savannah College of Art and Design there was a there was a Ryan Barnes sighting there too oh, as, as well as we take a look at Alex Arsenal, he's going with a black pearl urethane. A lot of surface on that bowling ball. A strong start for Kecklinger. Well, that's a great start. And keep in mind, folks, that we have three players on tonight's telecast that have never been on television before in a singles in singles competition and if there's one thing we've learned over the years at the world series of bowling it's first time winners winning at the wsob guys like bill o'neill and smallwood Stu williams tom doherty just to name a few needs a seven this crowd loves bj moore and so do the other players on tour. I mean, he's a true gentleman, first and foremost. Let's make no mistake about it. He is one of the best people you'll ever meet. And he's got the game to go with it. it maybe the best one-time winner on the tour, but he doesn't bowl full-time. Take a look at the old patterns. Cheetah 35 feet in length, and these two lines are going to represent where the players are going to start. But what makes Cheetah so fun is the extreme outside part of the lane, it's so dry. And the players try to get their ball to that dry spot on the lane at the right point with the right rotation. How much fun are these three nights you go from Cheetah to Scorpion? to Shark. It's great. Let's take a look at his arsenal. He's going with IQ78U. Beauty. Yeah, it's great. I mean, we get to see different ball reactions. We get to see different players. We get to see international players. I mean, it's just all over the map. This beautiful family back there. His two kids. His wife is here tonight. See Tom Clark, PBA commissioner, looking on as as you just referenced, we get to see part of the future. Who can break through and have the moment of a lifetime? Alec Keplinger, Dio Bernard, Mikey Slabaugh, all, all telling us this is a dream come true to be on national TV tonight. Keplinger with a strong start. I spoke with one of my old tour roommates this afternoon, Justin Romick, U.S. Open champ. They're uh, very, very close with Alec. Alec spent a lot of time bowling with Justin's son, Jared, at Wichita State. 
Um, and I asked him, I said, well, can you tell me about this guy's game? And he said, no, he's got game. He said he's a terrible Euchre player, though. <laughs> one here, one junior gold here. I mean, this, this kid's got it. And if there's one thing we've learned over the years from the Wichita State program is they develop champions. Straight for Alec Keplinger. Getting back to the old pad real quick, John. Even though the outside part of the lane is really dry, that right lane is tight down lane. Left lane hooks more. Back to BJ Moore, who won the 2019 PDA Wilmington Open for his first career title. He has made TV in two majors. Uh, you know, when I watch BJ throw it, it reminds me of a term that, that we use in sports. It's called efficiency of motion. Let's send it over to Kimberly. Well, guys, in typical B.J. Moore fashion, he rallied the bowling community to help raise $37,000 for his friend and pro shop owner, Zach Schweier, who had a brain aneurysm in January. Now, many bowlers, they signed balls and jerseys for the raffle, and B.J.'s wife, Tania, told us that Zach was touched by the support of the bowlers from across the world, and he was thankful for their kindness during this difficult time. That is great, great stuff, Kimberly, his wife, Tania. On the PWBA tour. Oh, yeah. to see that. He felt ah, so good about it. Do that to me. What's the eight doing? Thanks. No comment. I mean, it's just a crappy break. Period. This is perfect. And when he really needed it to stay in this, solid eight. That was mean. There for more. Come on, man. Well, Keplinger blink. Four straight for Alec Keplinger, making his TV finals debut. Can increase his lead to 41 going into the break with two more strikes. He made it to match play, one of 16 left, by just two pins. The 10. Yeah, that's the urethane. The urethane flat 10. Good shot. Isn't that crazy, though, that he and to just get to match play. Okay. Two, two pins, the difference. Grand Fa. Yeah. Sometimes that's all you need. A little bit of luck just to get in. Once you get in, it's a different ball game because you go from total pins to bracket match play. Well, I like to say every shot makes somebody happy, and that one made B.J. more happy as we take a look at Alec Keplinger's girlfriend, Hope Gramley. 2023 PWBA Rookie of the Year. There's a lot of bowling pedigree in that family. A ton. And we're going to talk more about that on the show coming up. It's called a tease. Let me write that down. <laughs> T-E-A-S. What year are you in doing this? <laughs> I can't remember. So after his first spare, that's much better for Alec Keplinger. Five strikes in the first six frames for Alec. Sandra Joe, great bowler, even better person. Already in the USBC Hall of Fame, 2021 inductee, and she got the PWBA call. Sandra Joe Shirey, a great, and her son doing her proud. Now B.J. Moore trailing 
Looking to put a surge together. Yeah, how about no more solid eights? Or that. Neither player has missed the pocket yet. This cheetah oil pattern proved to be the highest scoring oil pattern of the 2024 season. And that's the friction in the outside part of the lane, courtesy of Cheetah. 18 300 games this week on the Cheetah. The most this season. But also opportunities for the gutter. Uh, it's in play, especially if the guys move in, go to reactive resin and get steep through the fr front part of the lane. It, it definitely has a much better chance when you're playing that angle. Going straight up with the urethane balls like that, I don't, I mean, they'd have to completely lose it off their hand. They have it go in the channel. You know, Reggie was Mr. October. Yeah. B.J. Moore, Mr. World Series. Eight of his nine events, as we just showed you, have come yes. in the World Series on television. Yeah, he, he likes the, the World Series of bowling. 13 years pro. Strike. Hey, you want to take a look at some beautiful arm swings? Yes. Let me show you something. What makes these pros so good, and we talk about it a lot, myself and Coach Mark Baker back in California. But I want you to look at the back swings. When we get to the top, you can see the amount of space that these players create, and this enables them to tuck the ball underneath their shoulders on the way down and get their hands in perfect position. EJ e Tack, it is another, you know, another visual that comes to mind, that out-to-in type of move. The amount of space that players create. Yeah, look at it. Yeah. So if so if the swing comes out away from the body, it now is allowed to tuck underneath the body on the way down. Think about this, if the if the backswing came behind the player early, what, what what's it going to do? It has to travel around. Mm -hmm on the way down, and when the, the swing travels around the body, it takes the hand with it, puts it on the side early. You don't want that. And that is a Hall of Famer Randy Peterson teaching all of you at home a little bit about what you can do the next time you head into your local bowling center. Pros work the inside part of the bowling ball, amateurs work the outside part. Back to Alec Keplinger, 23 years old. Oh, mm. well, it's the first early hook we've seen with the urethane balls, and that's what happens. There's so much surface that it beats up the front part of the lane, and players really have to stay ahead of that transition to avoid disaster. And this is just a four pin, but you can see it already checking early. Left lane does hook more than the right. We're 15 minutes into the show. That's early. But that's what Marshall Kent said. He said, I won't need urethane. You know, by the time it gets to Marshall, they should, there should be plenty of carry down. And converts. All right. Hey, you know where we get all our great stats from, folks, right? Our great friends over at Lane Talk. For more information, visit lanetalk.com. And please download the free app. See the max scores, 258 for Alec, 248 for BJ. BJ Moore beating up. Big shot coming up in the ninth frame for BJ because if he strikes there in the ninth, he gives Keplinger something to think about. That's beautiful. You could put a plate of food on his head and wouldn't spill drop. Dinner is served. His wife owns a restaurant, Falbos. Italian. And from what I hear, it, it's really good. Elite chicken farm. Let's go. Right now, there's a table for one. 
Are you kidding me? That eight impressive. is cruel, mean, and single. Two solid eights in this game for B.J. Moore, both on the left lane. How? You told me in the break that that pin cost you 40 grand one time. Yeah, it was years ago. How twice? Not once, but twice. Unfortunate for B.J. Yeah. Moore. Bad luck. And the pin's not deflecting correctly. Three NCBCA All-American selections for this kid as a Wichita State Shocker. Legend at Wichita State. He leaves. One here. Well, he just needs two marks to advance. Easy spare. Four pin. So, interesting that he hooks it at the forfeit. Now, on Cheetah, you know, you have plenty of friction to the right, so you can get away with it. But uh, typically, you would be throwing it pretty straight and firm at those single pin spares. Or those single pin leaves, I should say. Just needs a mark. With mom, Sandra Joe, Shirey watching, the Hall of Famer. told us earlier this is a dream come true. Well. All right, just has to cover the 10. If he misses, BJ Moore can still win the game. If he makes it, he needs two. In his first time on TV, Alec Kecklinger is making Mom there. proud and advancing. I mean, B.J. Moore bowled the better game. You look at the last three shots by Alec, four pin, four pin, that 10 pin there, and B.J. Moore, ripper seven, solid eight, 10 pin, solid eight. But hey, that's the sport. to see what he does game two in terms of any kind of adjustments. He will be meeting another man making his first TV appearance, Dio Bernard, the 20-year-old. And our only southpaw on the telecast tonight. A 23-year-old or a 20-year-old will be one of three left standing for the Cheetah Championship. For B.J. Moore, you feel for him on a night like oh this. Oh, my gosh. Cool. What? No eight pin? The eight hung up twice as you take a look at Dio Bernard. This kid is so cool. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. I mean, he's, he lives in Texas, but he reminds me of like a like a beach bum from Venice Beach. <laughs> We're excited to talk some, with like, him. Sad goodbye music. Maybe play a little something sad for me. 
<laughs> what, what a 227 ah. game that he strikes on the fill. One of the best you'll ever see. Hey, we've all been on that side of the street. Sucks. It does. I would just say about BJ, and when we're talking with the other players that are in this event, Mikey Slayball was bringing it up, just how classy oh. BJ is. And when Mikey advanced to this night, uh, BJ gave him a huge hug and said, congratulations. Do your job, man. Okay, Keep going. That's a sportsmanship award winner in this sport. He's already done that, and BJ Moore has won plenty elsewhere. Dio Bernard versus Alec Keplinger. We have a 20-year-old and a 23-year-old squaring off. One of them will be one of three left standing. Dio Bernard versus Alec Keplinger. Ready to do battle here in match number two. Bernard just 20 years of age. We just saw him a couple of weeks ago as part of the NASCAR All-Star Weekend was with Parker Bone, the third, and Tom Doherty, Team PB3. From the Legacy Cup to all by himself tonight, Dio Bernard starts with a strike. Boy, was he fun to talk with earlier. And a nice start for Dio. The only southpaw. See if his side of the lane holds up better than the right side. So back to Alec Keplinger. Told you about him earlier with his girlfriend, Hope Gramley, who's the PWBA reigning rookie of the year. Alec with the strike. And his girlfriend is here tonight. Hope is supporting him. I may be Alex Cougar, but he's my cheetah. <laughs> oh. Okay, we have a sign of the night. Just hand out the honor now. <laughs> Go hand out the trophy. That is an all-time sign. So, so, does that mean she's older? Uh, okay, I, I'm guessing, right? Well, he just graduated from school, so I think I think that would be. And based on that sign, I I think that your conclusion, Professor, is correct. <laughs> just beating DJ Moore and starts with back-to-back -back jacks here. Well, you can see the adjustment he made. After he did not strike the last four shots in game one, he's going with more loft, trying to clear the front part of the lane. You can see it right there. Playing the same part of the lane, just getting it airborne. We love talking with this kid earlier because he said, this is my dream. How can he see his target? His hair's in the way. Seven. Soft seven, urethane seven. We had our pre-show interview with him. Yeah. I'm sure the folks at home have to be thinking about this too. At the age of 20, he's talking about how this is a dream and his mind's going a million miles a minute. So I said to him, well, what, what do you want to ask the Hall of Famer that's sitting with us here on the couch in Randy? And he asked you, how do you do it on national television? What'd you tell him? Well, I, I said that, you know, the first thing you have to realize is that everybody's nervous. First couple of shots, I mean, the great Walter Ray Williams Jr., I asked him once, I said, hey, do you still get nervous on television? He made like 150 shows. He said, I sure do, as we take a look at his arsenal, black pearl urethane. So understanding that going in, then trying to get your feet underneath you, and then once you get there, get in that mindset to where nothing else is happening around you. A strike for Bernard. His father helped him get into bowling, but it wasn't just 
his dad Rick and mom Amy here tonight his best friend John he said I started watching YouTube videos of Jason Belmonte mm -hmm. that's what made me fall in love with the sport and I think Brandy that just shows the power of Belmo he's gotten people to fall in love with this sport well he was he was the one that brought the wow factor back to bowling you know when people saw that they were like what is that and then all the youngsters trying to do the same. Ooh. Just as he did in game one, three straight star strikes for Keplinger. So again, getting back to the mindset in these conditions, remember that the mind allows the body to do what you've trained it to do if you're thinking the right thoughts, right? And typically when you're playing any sport at a high level, there's not a whole lot of thinking going on. Pick up. It did pick up. It sure did. And just like Game one, he starts off with four in a row. Registration for the 2024 PBA LBC National Championships is now open to bowlers of all skill levels and from all centers. The PBA LBC National Championships is heading to a new location outside Chicago and includes two new junior divisions. You can compete in singles as well as optional doubles and team events, even combine your scores with the pros. Enter today at pba.com slash LBC tournament. Folks, if you like money, sign up for that event. The seven did accept the invitation. And for that, Mr. Seven, the Just Right Strike is brought to you by Just Bear, the mindful choice for high quality protein with no antibiotics ever. Just Right, Just Bear, have your protein in the morning and maybe you'll be like the seven and fall asleep calmly. That four pin just had barely enough protein to kick the seven out. <laughs> Somebody coughed in his backswing. No problem. Wow. Kick save on the seven and a beauty. Hey, that's the benefit of having that hair. You block out all the noise. He's just in the zone, man. He's cutting it. He's cutting it loose. There it is. That's good pin action. Anytime you see the four pin go to the sidewall and cut the seven for the left handers, the right handers, it's the six cutting the ten out. That means your ball's doing the right stuff. Now back to Keplinger, who, big picture. Very much in the rookie of the year race. Very much so. Nate Perches in there as well. Mm -hmm. Alec had to defeat Nate in match play, as well as Justin Knowles. Ooh. Maybe just a little grabby on that shot there because of, of, of the loft. You have to be very conscious of when you're lofting like that, the tendency or the miss is to grab it or hit it in the upswing. Pretty solid though thus far, game and a half. How do you avoid that tendency? I was never any good at lofting because every time I tried to loft, I'd grab the, the you-know-what out of it at the bottom. And so all I did was hit up on it. I was never very good at lofting. But, I mean, some guys, they, they, they take maybe knee bend out so that their launch is higher off the ground. It's one way of doing it. Other guys are just really good at throwing it to the arrows. Here's how Alec got here, beating Justin Knowles and Nate Purchase, but he had to post nine straight strikes in game 15 of qualifying just to make match play. And strikes in the sixth year. We've got a battle. Who 
will be one of three left standing. He's smiling from heaven watching these kids battle here tonight. Oh! That time the seven did My not goodness. did not take the invite. Really nice shot here by Dio Bernard, only to leave that ring in seven. Remember, I talked just a couple of frames ago about when the four pins go into the sidewall and doing its job on the seven pin, you know your ball's doing the right thing. That time it was up and around. Match play. How about that little, little, little bit of a backup rotation there? Yep. I like it. And in match play, he bowled a 300. He's got serious, serious game. Marshall Kenner, tournament leader, had a 300 game. Dio had 300, and B.J. Moore had 300. Just 20 years old. Said this is a dream come true. He just didn't expect it to come true this quickly. And you said, well, we'll be seeing a lot of you, kid. He goes, well, just take it in tonight. He's very <laughs> humble. He, he really is. Like I said, he, he was great to talk with. He's such an awesome kid. But right now, these uh, these two youngsters are they're putting on a striking exhibition, and it is nothing but youth gone wild here in Detroit. What were you like at 20? Probably can't use that kind of language on on the air. I had no clue what I was doing at 20. None. <laughs> Lofting. And the 10. You know, at which point does Alec get out of the urethane and into reactive resin? And it's too early right now. I mean, he started front four, left that nine pin on that right lane, and now backs it up with that flat 10. I think you mentioned at the start of the show that when we spoke with Marshall, he says, there's no way I'm using urethane by the time uh, he bowls the title match. Too much oil got, would have gone down the lane and he's gonna move in and open it up with reactive. But I wonder what Alec is thinking. How many more week 10s? before you make the change. And again, it's just one this game. Well, for now, Sunday on Fox, the stars of NASCAR head to Talladega for the biggest thrill ride of the year. The pre-show kicks off at 2 Eastern, and the green flag flies at 3.30 Eastern, Sunday on Fox. Man, I love Talladega. If you ain't first, you're last. Again, going with the loft to eliminate the front part of the lane, which is getting really dry. So he's trying to loft it over the dry heads. And there's that check again. So we saw it game one. He kind of lost it towards the end of that match with B.J. Moore, four nine spares in a row. This game starts off front four, and then it was nine spare strike, flat 10, and now four pin high on the left lane. At what point do you make the change? Well, it's going to depend on, on what Dio Bernard does. If he's not pushed and he's still in the lead, he's going to stay with what he's got. And then if he has a shot to waste in the 10th frame, like his fill shot, sure. he's going to look at reactive residue. This is tight. Uh -huh. Just a nine pin difference as you take a look again. Last month, Dio Bernard in the Legacy Cup was with Parker Bohm a third and Tom Doherty. Talk about being a part of something special at the Legacy Cup. What a cool event that was. That's just a beautiful shot. Yeah, and here's your max scores right here. A 
but he needed this one. And now he takes the lead by one. Ricky Bobby would be proud of that white belt. <laughs> You're still on Talladega. Uh, Do you ever get off? That, that's one of the best movies out there. Help me, Tom Cruise. Help me, Oprah Winfrey. <laughs> All right. Dio Bernard. Strike here. He can't be shut out. Boom! Hey, five pin. Bye, Felicia. This kid is special. Got this one in just a little bit, but it catches just enough to... Five pin Ooh. paralyzed. Ooh. Yeah. I like him. We were talking with him earlier. We said, nerves? You got any? He goes, no, it's not who I am. We're like, really? Yeah, I call BS on that. <laughs> Eat it. Hi again. The four stands. Isn't much more than that. Got it right a little bit early, and there's the friction of the cheetah pattern. That ball over hooks, even with that loft. And now he's in trouble. And the winner of this takes on Mikey Slaybaugh. Slaybaugh, the two. Top seed is Marshall Kent, who won the Illinois Classic earlier this year. Max score now 237 for Keplinger. Bernard can shoot 259. Just like game one, his last three shots, seventh, eighth, and ninth, were nine spares. Flight to get it. Oof. That's almost to the arrows. Wow. About 14 feet out on the lane. Well, drastic times, Randall. And again, it's all about giving your opponent something to think about. Puts pressure on him. Alec 23. His opponent, Bernard 20. Alec Keplinger, as we said earlier, very much in the Rookie of the Year race. Beat Nate Purchase to get here. He was also in that race and now has to have it again. One more. more and the 10 said, not tonight. Yeah, cool. Urethane ball is done for Alec. But how about these youngsters and their performance thus far? Also adding B.J. Moore into the mix. Not one ball out of the pocket tonight, with the exception of the fill shot that Alec threw in the 10th frame. He left a two pin. And we saw that last year. More of more in the gutter early in the night in this event. Have not seen it here. No open frames. Nope. Only one ball that didn't matter. D didn't hit the pocket. Everything else has been flush. And now, Dio needs just a mark to win. And we're being told that that was a foul. Let's see if we can get a replay of that. It was a foul. Dio 
Bernard, the 20-year-old kid, is moving on in one of three left standing in the Cheetah Championship. He said, cool hand, Luke. I'll be that tonight. <laughs> Another really good match, though. Oh. And he will meet Mikey Slaybaugh, who's also making his first television appearance. Well, he said there was three left, but there's only one left-hander left, and his ball reaction looks really, really solid. We asked this kid, how would you describe your game? He said it starts with firm ball speed. You know, he's not really that firm, though. He's like 17 and a half, and he's shaping it more. A poker face, if you will. Yeah. From Dio Bernard. He will meet Mikey Slaybaugh. We'll talk more about that history as the evening goes on. So here we are. You've got Chalk. Top three seeds are left. Slaybaugh making his first ever TV appearance, as is Dio Bernard. And the winner of this matchup will meet one of the hottest bowlers on tour this season, Marshall Kent. Finally figured out who Dio reminds me of. <laughs> who? Jimmy Page. Guitars from Led Zeppelin. Nice. Well, Dio was perfect in his last match on that left lane. He was five for five. But Mikey gets the choice of where he wants to make Dio finish. And he said, well, you're going to start so you can finish on the right lane. Jimmy Page, huh? Yeah. It's everything you dreamed of, kid. Let's have some fun. Come on. That's the, the one-inch line, sir. Using a tank, Rampage Pearl, and his first shot of national television is flirting with the gutter. Shot. His eighth year as a pro, mostly regional action. Four career PBA regional titles. It. Oh boy. A little too jacked up, I think, after Maybe that opening ten. shot. He said he missed it at the bottom, and that ball goes All right. right through the three pin for a little five count washout. We asked him, is this the first time oh. he's left this all week? Fuck him. The frame you'd like here if you're Slava and watch the foot. It's interesting, Randy. Before we came on air, we talked with both these players. Slava told us, look, I'm an emotional disaster. Tons of nerves. Bernard is cool as a cucumber. Yeah, he really is. Another beauty. Four pin sidewalk, slaps the seven out. It's exactly what you're supposed to do when your opponent gives you an open or an opening. He does just that, doubles up. Richie T's, Jake Peters, 
two of his great friends, both here tonight, watching him. And now Slaybaugh has to respond as you take a look at how he got here. Chuck, come on. Needs to bounce back. Oh. Well, he said he used your thing the entire tournament. Never got out of it. Let's take a look at his backswing. Remember, we talked about it at the top of the show. Look at all this space that's created by the direction of that backswing. And I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say, even though it's just through three frames for Mikey, that Marshall Kent's watching this. And he's thinking to himself, there ain't no way I'm throwing your thing. No. But, but he told us that three hours ago. Yeah. Good shot. Stay forward, stay firm. Good shot. That's a different dude these days, by the way. Marshall Kent. Yes, he is. We'll get into that. A changed man. That's Slay ball. That is better. Much. You know what we love hearing from him today? Everything he's done throughout his career, self-taught. Yeah. <laughs> self-taught YouTube videos. He, he was so excited, though. I mean, about every aspect of what was going to happen tonight. Talking with us, taking selfies he with us. He got a selfie with you. With us. Thank you for including me. Bernard doesn't blink. Saturday on Fox, the United Football League continues with hard-hitting action as the D.C. Defenders take on the Birmingham Stallions. Well, the Michigan Panthers battle the San Antonio Brahmas. It all kicks off Saturday at 7 Eastern on Fox. Check local listings for the game in your area. John Fanta, Randy Peterson, Kimberly Pressler with you. We'll be right back here on FS1 tomorrow night, 7 Eastern, for the Scorpion Championship. Bernard was perfect up until this. All right, we're going to go down to the floor and talk with Mike Wolf, who is the tour rep and PBA champion for Dio Bernard. Mike, how long can he stay into the urethane ball? Uh, being the only one on that side, he's probably going to be able to stay in it uh, definitely through this match and probably through the next match if he gets through this one. All right, Mike, thank you. You know, it's always a big topic of conversation, these urethane balls. How long, look, ooh, how long will they last? How long can you stay with it? We watched Keplinger go through that adjustment where he had to start lofting it to get it through the front part of the lane. That was All right, Bedard's first forward. miss on the Firm left lane. Five forward. for five. Yeah, let's just make shots, sure kid. Let's go. In his first match make here shots. tonight. His first miss. Firm and up forward. Oh, the 10 just wouldn't let it in. Oh, Michael Slayball. I mean, you look, you saw his rev rate, it's over 500. It's plenty of power, but the urethane ball is just too <sighs> soft entering the 1 3 pocket. He lives in Wakarusa, Indiana. Yes, near South Bend. His family lives in Goshen, Indiana. His parents had not seen him play live for a long period of time, he All says. Right, and they called him and said, can we come see you? He said, why don't you Let's come go. see me for match play in the Cheetah? And he got to celebrate that moment with mom and dad. He said it was one of the best of his life. That's a lot better. There you go. Yes, it is. You know, another part of his interesting story was the fact that he said, hey, I lost 75 pounds, started lifting weights because I wanted to be an athlete. So, we have...
quite the finish ahead for you here from Allen Park. Dio Bernard leads by 45 pins, trying to advance to meet the season Marshall Kent, this kid at the age of 20. Whoa. A little light mixture six pin. You don't see that hit very often. What have you liked most about this kid tonight? His composure. Shot making is on point. Missed the pocket once. That was a fill shot, game one. He just tried something a little different. Get a look. But his composure has been spectacular. He told us with swagger earlier today, college, it's overrated. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing not to like about no. this kid. You know, the performances by these first timers has been incredible. I mean, shot after shot after shot in the pocket. Now, granted, it, it does help that you're bowling on a softer oil pattern. The cheetahs, you know, it, it gives you friction to the outside part of the lane, a little bit of oil left, and, and so you know exactly what it's going to do, and that helps free up the swing. But still, I mean, they still have to execute, and they're doing a, just a wonderful job of that. Rick and Amy, his parents are here, his best friend John. Eric Jones, Jake Peters, Richie Tease, we told you about they're here for him. All He's all got an it, entourage. All you gotta do is hit it. And to your hit point, that's thing, why it. at these events, Randy, we've seen Bill O'Neill, Tom Smallwood, Dom Barrett, Tom Doherty all win their first the World Series. Big trouble. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That looked pretty good until it got to about 45 feet, and then it went just dead left. Watch this. He's in oh. and really trying to open up and use Bummer. that dry part of the lane. Instead, it's a 3-4-7. Oh, no. Oh. Two big opens. And... Unfortunately for Mikey, it's going to be hard for him to catch up now because Dio's not going to miss. That'll all but do it. Oh, well. Let's make a good shot, man. Make a good one. Thing 10. You love this kid's mentality. The, the smile still doesn't leave his face. And he's he, having even, the time of his life. He is. His parents came. His grandma, Fanny, made the drive as oh. well. Atta, baby. And what an accomplishment to get to this point. And you look at some of the players that he beat to get here. Nick Pate, great player. B.J. Moore. And he said, I look up to B.J., how he behaves on tour. B.J. gave him a huge hug on Mikey beating him. That's sportsmanship. That's class. But what we're watching right now is Dio Bernard clinch a spot in the finals against Marshall Kent. Will the World Series of Bowling produce another first time winner like it has over the past 15 years? Or will Marshall Kent win his second title of 2024? said 
He looks like Jimmy Page. Yeah. <laughs> right now is the closest feeling to a stairway to heaven for Dio Bernard. All right. <sighs> There's a little slice of heaven right there that hit on, on the eight pin. BJ Moore's watching going, yeah, I wish that could have happened to me. Shot, another 10 pin. That's all right. What a great guy. Hopefully, we will be seeing much more of Mikey. His wife, Elizabeth, he called his rock. Oh. Well. I just love his story, though. You, you, you hit on it, like self-taught. Mm -hmm. Watched YouTube videos. <laughs> oh, said he, he couldn't throw 90 mile an hour fastballs, so he, he took to bowling. It's only his fourth tournament. He's missed three PTQs, pre-tournament qualifiers. It's the first tournament national event he's cashed in. Lost 75 pounds by weightlifting. Oh man. Just a great story. <laughs> now you hear uh, we love you from his family. He's got his nephew, Asher Mundy, here, his sister, Erica, as well. I think that came from his nephew oh. saying, We love you. Uncle Mikey. Mikey Slaybaugh should smile, and he will. But this kid oh. right now. Dio Bernard is rambling on to the finals. That little noise made for the last one? Come on, Allen Park. And Thunderball, we're down to two. That is what's on the line. The PDA Cheetah Championship part of the World Series of Bowling. What a fascinating final we have. That's an elite sign and an elite matchup here. At the age of 20, Dio Bernard is trying to win a PBA Tour title. The youngest to ever do it on tour. Norm Duke at the age of 18 in 1983. Boom. Man, just different kind of mindset. Still in the urethane ball, still striking, still labeling it, still throwing great shots. He gave the reactive a try. He did. When we went to break, his fill shot, yeah, we saw it. And it looked, looked great. He looked at it. This is all reactive resin for Marshall Kent. The Illinois Classic Champion from back in February begins with a strike. 19 miles an hour, almost 500 rev rate. Kent going with a GB5. And that is reactive resin, not urethane. There's his arsenal right there. Although I don't see the ball that I just named. You were surprised to learn that he's had success with the T.O. Rhino. Well, the ball he's using wasn't on that list, but it is a GB5. Back to back, Jacks. And you know what that is right there? That's 10 and a pick. So his list was accurate, but it looks like Marshall added that GB5 late. That's why it didn't make the list when we went to air. But it's definitely part of his arsenal. Make no mistake about it. Good start for Marshall Dad. Back to Dio Bernard. Youngest PBA member to win a regional title. He was 16. What'd you see? Looked like it was a little more up the lane. And right of target. 
first shot that I've seen him throw like that. Looking back at his first game, he did leave a six pin once. Excuse me, last game he left the six pin once and his first game, he did not. So that was the first, second shot that actually went a little high. You see that, the South Point West Challenge. He beat Dan Peters in Las Vegas. So we all should have known then that at the age of 16, youngest right. PBA member to win a regional title. Yeah. And now at 20, two years off the record there, when Norm Duke won the Cleveland Open at 18 in the early 80s. That's more like it. Yeah, but you know, Norm Duke was a hustler back then. He pulled you for a hundred bucks a game <laughs> with no money in his pocket. And did he'd he have to win. pay up? No, he'd yeah, win. See, so so what is it? What, what is that tell you? He's not a hustler. He's that's, just a smart man. That's a, that's no, <laughs> uh, he was really smart. Unless you have to pay up and you don't have it. Did you have any? I I wouldn't bowl for that kind of money, especially if I didn't have it. But I occasionally twenty bucks here and there, and I didn't have any. Whoa! Whoa! That was out there. You know, but if you think about what that does to a young player mentally, right? I mean, it makes you battle tested. Yep. Think about handling pressure. You're pulling a guy for no for, for money and you have no money. There's another guy that used to do that on the PGA Tour. His name was Lee Trevino. Can I just say I love that man's sunglasses behind Marshall Kent? That guy is locked in. I haven't noticed any look. Get back to him. Check out the, this 3D comparison that we're going to throw at you right here. And it's uh, the difference between Keplinger and the urethane ball that he was using and Marshall Kent's reactive resin. So it's a good 10 boards different at the laydown, six boards at the arrows, and obviously Marshall Kent covering a lot more territory. These are the big numbers right there. Whoops, sorry, folks. Let me get that off of there. I believe that didn't get up. And the two hangs. That was pretty good. You think, think about this man. 2017 won two tour events. Lubbock Sports Open, Grand Casino, Hotel and Resort, PBA, Oklahoma Open. Seven years separate from that and winning the Illinois Classic this year. What has shifted for Marshall Kent to refine everything? His life. His life changed. And everything with it. By the way, that was the first two pin he's left throughout this entire entire Cheetah Championship. Oh, there are the there are the shades. I see it. Through the pin so hard and left the dazed and confused. Star so bright, you need some shades. That was beautiful. Pin lead can increase it to 12. He's just been unstoppable. Again, it, it's it's really hard to quantify because he's performing at an extremely high level, but he's doing it because of where he's at mentally. And when you're 20 years old, you're not supposed to do this. Your first time on national television. No. It, 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 it's a learning process. It takes time. Apparently, he didn't get that memo. No. Come on now. Come on now. 
10 not giving for Marshall. It's not right. Dio Bernard is in control. Hey, you said it. We, we've got three TV first timers on this show, and, and they all talked about the nerves, the pressure of, of having to perform on this stage. And you shared what you knew about how it starts. Every, everything is mental. Good yeah. start. And it goes what? It, it might go 20 minutes in real time, but for a player, how long does it go when you're on TV? I mean, for me, it, it lasted about, you know, three frames. Three or, if it lasted longer than that, you were in trouble. Um, if you didn't have a good ball reaction, it would last longer. If you had a good ball reaction, maybe it was just a couple shots. But, I mean, this, this kid's been locked in, dialed in since his first shot. Very little. All right, Marshall Kent clawing and fighting, trying to stay alive. And now Bernard can step up and increase his lead to 33 with two more. Mom and dad are happy, his best friend John's happy. Dad is a bowler, has always been a bowler, but if you're just joining us tonight, Dio said he really fell in love with this sport when he started watching YouTube videos of Jason Belmonte. He said, I saw Belmo doing it. By the way, you can see Belmo here on FS1 tomorrow, 7 Eastern time in the Scorpion Championship. And he said, that, that made me say, I can do this. I want to follow in Belmo's footsteps. Whoa. He blinked. Whoa, hold on to your hat. Big four, only made one time on television on the PBA tour. That was by the great Walter Ray Williams Jr. According to strike track numbers, that wasn't a bad shot. And now, all of a sudden, things have changed. But can Marshall strike on the right lane? He's only down five now. Ken started with back-to-back -back strikes. Yeah, but only one on this lane. Three straight spares coming off a strike in the sixth. Window opens. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's not the right move. Well, this is an, not something you'll see professionals do very often. He got it up the lane and misses the head pin left. That is, that's a, I mean, the only, <laughs> the only way you can make a, uh, a, a worse shot than that is by throwing in the gutter on nice. either the right or left side. That, that was not good. You take a look at number one seeds after a 10-4 and four season last year. That, that was best. a fluke. That was a fluke. But even 8-10. and 8-10 and is okay. It's typically around 50%. This year, it's not. It's 2-5. and five. Beat number one has been rough. It was better, and it's a strike. Yeah, Marshall beating one of those two that actually won from the top spot. Yeah. Yeah, hey, I mean. Hi. It wasn't, it wasn't total disaster because he was working on a strike, so it, it could have, nine spare would have been the same score, right? Right. He, but he's still five down. And you can see the max scores, 242 for Bernard, 237 for Kent. And now Bernard punches 
right back. And this next shot on the left lane for Bernard could possibly win it for him. The last shot he threw, I'm, judging by the numbers, it looked good. He went big forward. Now, does he make an adjustment? What does he do here? And if it's another big four, he could lose this title. A strike here, he cannot be shut out. Started with three strikes on the left and had that 6-2 in the seventh. This time, Dio Bernard leaves the seven. Still anyone's game. Bumped it a little bit right on that shot there, and it glided a little bit longer than he wanted in the oil, leaves that ring in seven. Now, Marshall Kent, last time he was on the right lane, he missed the head pin. Cleans that up. Could you ask for much more drama to determine a cheetah champion no. in the World Series of Bowling? We're back with you tomorrow night for the Scorpion with Belmo, Jesper Svensson, Packy Hammerhan. Four lefties and Belmo. Jason Belmonte, the great right hope for tomorrow. <laughs> Please trademark that. Get up. He was asking oh, for it really to get good. up. Well, the good news is this is his last shot on this right lane. Got the head pin that time. Great ones right here. After the first strike on that right lane, he left a couple of ten pins, and then from there, he just didn't see that right lane very well. Now, the last two shots on the left lane, both strikes. Still has a chance, only down by five. Taking a re rack. And that's a veteran move. Make the young man, Dio Bernard, sit as long as you can before he finishes the tenth frame. Double up here, put pressure on Dio Bernard. 31-year-old Marshall Kent, who won the Illinois Classic in February, having the best year of his career. Three six ten. Mm, mm, mm. I should like that one. Did you hear him? Yeah, he, he said he actually liked that one. I just don't think he saw this. This championship pair correctly that was a miss in by a couple of boards and i think that he thought maybe there'd be some hold in that part of the lane from the urethane balls going down from the right handers but not the case and so dio bernard will just need a mark to win the cheetah championship now what's he thinking if anything at all. He said to us earlier today, I just take my brain out of things. There's a strike. Oh, come on. Maybe a little steeper angle and slower speed for Marshall Ken on this pair. I, it just never looked like he matched up very well. Now, any mark will do for Dio Bernard to capture his first ever win. His what? first time ever on television. He said, I'll, I'll take my brain out. Stop the overthinking. Just be calm. He won a regional title at 16. Dio Bernard, a mark to win at the age of 20. This kid is already a superstar. He's the cheetah of the PBA Tour.
This young man's like a unicorn. It's just incredible. His his reaction after that shot was nothing. He was 13th in pre-tournament qualifying. And now at the World Series of Bowling, Dio Bernard at the age of 20, your Cheetah champion. And Marshall Kent, classy as always, even you know in the game. But I mean, awesome. what a performance by that young man. Wow. There's a whole lot of love for Bernard in this building tonight. Hoist it, young man. That's the satisfying moment of the match. Sponsored by Snickers. Nothing satisfies like a Snickers. He said it's the best day of his life. Earned every bit of it. Congratulations, Dio. Wow, was that fun to watch. Unbelievable. First ball here in the 10th to win it. And look at this reaction. It's like he's he's just like numb to this to the pressure, to everything that's going. And now he all right, it's official. I mean, wow. What a performance. Wow. Let's send it to Kimberly. Dio, you started tonight making your first ever PBA final debut, and you walk away a PBA Tour champion. Describe this moment. Um, I'm absolutely speechless. Um, this is the greatest moment of my life. I'm just, just happy I made the cut this week, honestly. So, uh, no, I'm just, I'm just really proud. It's awesome. So. Let's talk about the final match in that uh, seventh frame because it got a little scary for a second there. How were you able to come up over that? Um, I was just really just trying to shut the brain off as much as I could. Uh, it was <laughs> it was honestly so hard to think that last match. That I think it kind of helped me shut my brain off. So. And what does it mean to win your first title in front of your family and your best friend? It's I, I, I can't even pick. It's such a good script. I don't even know how it's possible. Like. It's honestly just a dream come true. I, I'm just loving it. Congratulations on winning your first ever PBA Tour title. And finally, a left-hander wins in 2024 on the PBA Tour. <laughs>